12 minutes after the hour, sitting here, I mean, we're just like Floyd. Dick Gregory can go on and on and on. It's a teaching experience, and that's what he's doing today, here, live, in Washington, D.C., at Families USA. Before we talk about what you're doing for Haiti, I couldn't wait. I told you last night, I can't wait to the audience. It's a chance to hear your opinion of the first African-American in our time, because you've already taught us there were more, his State of the Union address and the response that the Republicans are setting up to it. First, the president. Well, you see, I think we make a mistake when we say Republicans. The Republicans represent a whole racist mentality. Now, being racist and a racist mentality is two different things. It represents Black folk can have a racist mentality. I can never be a racist. A black person can never be a racist. I can hate you because you're Jewish. I can hate you because you're Irish Catholic. I can hate you because you're Hungarian. That's prejudice. Racism means the ability to control somebody else's faith and destiny. So if I hated all white folks, I don't have the ability to take their children go to a bad school. I don't have to, that they can get fired easy. And so consequently, when, when, see, we try to Look at Obama without factoring in racism, okay? And that's impossible, and that's our fault. For instance, I'll get you this. I'll, I'll fact it. I have a little fact to you today. UCLA did a study, okay? They took 100 white folks, and they asked them serious questions, you know, what friendliness, because they're going to give them another test, but they got to find out who did you like, how do you feel about your mother, how do you feel about your grade school, your high school, and all of that. Who's your friend? Now, they go in and put a brain scan around your head, and your brain shows up on a big old TV screen, okay? And it's cut in segments. Happiness, joy, fun, sadness, fear, okay? Then they show you pictures of all the people you told them you like. Yeah. Your mother, your father, this and that. But they show that. Then they show you a picture of a black man. And they watch that screen. The fear jumps through your skull. 63% of white folks got scared. Now, they're not aware of it. Then they did the same thing to 100 black folks. Wait a minute, this is the fascinating part of the study for this. This was done before, and this just recently happened where they tested this for racism. This is the part that blows my mind. Then they tested 100 black folks. And when they showed them a black, man, 67% higher. Higher fear. Okay, and so when we, we sit and look, see, we assume. Wait a minute, David. So is that why? It is so easy for us to kill one another, as we are doing right now. And no, I no, no, yeah, well, yeah, first, I know that I could kill you in my subconscious mind and get away with it. Hmm. Okay, you got black folks in America that's for capital punishment, okay? And if, Prince, if, if a black child came to D.C. today, a black man, a black woman, and killed 24 people, in the high region, you know he's gonna get the death penalty, huh? And to make sure you get the death penalty, they're gonna send you over to Virginia to be tried. Okay, now, if Prince Charles's son came here today and killed 50 people, he's not gonna get the electric chair. So how, and then I don't understand. not even be tried. You know, I don't understand yeah. how black folks can cry over the crucifixion of Christ and be for capital punishment. Christ was a capital crime. Hello. The state killed Christ. He wasn't mugged to death or run down by some Hello. chariot driver. And so consequently, when you stop and think about, now, let's go back and look so at it. So wait a minute, because I don't want to run out of time. Yeah. So you're saying that when we look at the president and we look at the response to the State of the Union address, we're missing the key part. We're, we're missing the key part if we don't factor racism in. Okay, now, let, let's look. When, when, when he's been attacked for, for uh, referring to what the Supreme Court did. Roe versus Wade, every president, Republican, ate him up on that. And nobody, but this is, see, be white, you got the free pass. Hmm? And so this is what it's about. And so we cannot. And then he helps. He helps. When he say, 
when, when, when as on the state, that racist institution brings him out for speed and refuse to give him an honorary PhD, why does he go? That, that's acting negro. He could have said no. He could have said no. But no, 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 no. He could have been. He could have been hip and told everybody on the QT, T to it, they get no more black athletes. Hmm? Then they'd feel. Why is he afraid to use his power? Huh? Why is he afraid to use his power? Because he know he a negro. That's why. Huh? That's why. So he. Wait a minute. So he's the flea in the jar. That's right. He knows it. He knows it. He knows, but you too. We all know there's certain things you can't do. There's certain limitations. I'm not sure about you. I speed through Mississippi tonight, a black woman at 100 miles an hour. Huh? And when he pull you over, you know you're in trouble. Let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you. You know, but there's a jury in peace because we are now saying the judgment of those police officers that killed that boy on BART. Yeah. And when you see that film, they just walk over and start punching him. Yeah. Well, wait, they wait. have not wait, lost let me show how it works here. or nothing. Wait, wait. Let me show how it works. A black mother and a black father will tell their boys to be careful at night of the police. That's it. That's part of it. You're projecting it. That's part of it. Listen, you got three PhDs. You got $10 million in the bank. You're driving down the street. You. You hear a siren. You squeeze the stern wheel tight. Cop car passed right by you. They wasn't after you in the first place. And then you say, oh, thank God. They wasn't after you. You've already been conditioned. A white boy on his way to rival bank. Cop passed by him, he waved. How you doing? How you doing, guy? Okay. This is what I'm talking about, white privilege. And until the we just The thing is they don't see it. This is what amazes me, because you can see it if you are Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. First, you have to know it. You have to know it first. So how did he do? Did he know what he was saying? No, no. The speech was great. The speech was great. I haven't heard Democrat or Republican or State of the Union, but that wasn't great. Hello? That's a platform. You go, and you do. Do you remember when he was going around and, and, and giving his speeches about his bit, and the white folks, a couple of brothers, showed up with automatic weapons loaded? Yes. Even he said they have a right. Yes. Well, wait a minute. Then I say, let them go in the First National Bank tomorrow with a loaded gun. Because they have a right. Let them stand in front of a police station with a loaded because gun. Because they have a right. And let ask the cop to come out. Okay? Let me carry one if I have a right. You hear me? I want to carry one. Let me carry and one so, if I have and a so, right. So you help perpetrate that by, you know, and so by, by going to a university that's not going to give you a They give PhD to entertain them. Frank Sinatra got to be an honorary PhD. Huh? And here you, the president, the first African American president in the history of this country. And you would not give him a PhD. You, you hear me? All right, so listen.